I am one with my glorious I am presence. And my holy Christ self. My personalities. My body elemental. And my new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. I pull in my aura so that I am fully contained within Metatron's cosmic egg. Beloved Lord Metatron, I am so very grateful for the blessings of each and every day. And I am now ready to receive your solstice message for 2014. Greetings, beloveds. I come to you with such great joy at the anticipation of the enlightenment which is taking a place among all of Earth's peoples. Everywhere around the planet, people are waking up. People are receiving the light into their very beings and holding it there, allowing themselves to build up a reservoir of light within them so that they can magnetize even more light to themselves and become even more enlightened. The Jewish people celebrate the festival of lights. The Christians light their tree. And religions around the world use light as a symbol of God, of consciousness, of divinity, of all that I am, and of all that you in truth are as well. So join me in this joyful celebration of your light, of your work, of your efforts that you have made thus far to bring light into your world and into the entire world. This is a wonderful time of year, beloveds, to acknowledge that which you have accomplished. It is a wonderful time of year to acknowledge that which you have accomplished in the last year. To congratulate yourselves for that which you have accomplished and the good that you have done. It is also a perfect time of year to forgive yourself for the errors that you have made and for the errors that others have made. For in this forgiveness, you allow the light to continue to enter within your own being, as a lack of forgiveness will impede the light from entering within. And in this season of giving, Give freely and receive freely and remember to keep the giving and the receiving in balance. To only give or to only receive will cause great imbalances and disharmony within your being. But if you give as you receive, then you will remain in balance 
and the light will continue to flow through you. And of course, open your hearts to love. Love is the greatest gift of this season that you can give to another. It does not take a present to give this love, but it does take your presence. Your divine presence is love and is the only true giver of love. You, as an incarnated being, are the vehicles through which your I Am Presence expresses this love and manifests this love in the world. So it must be done consciously with your accord that it be done. But it is vital that you remember that it is not from within your mind or from within your body that this love goes out to the world. But it is the love of your divine presence that you yourself open up to receive first within your own being and then acknowledging that love you then allow it to flow forth from you, at which time you may either direct it to a specific recipient, a person, place, or thing, or you may simply allow that love to radiate out around you, just as a sun would. There is not one of these options that is more right than another at this time. You may do both as you feel guided to do. But the important part is to recognize the source of the love that is flowing through you. God, of course, the Creator, is the ultimate source of all of the love and of all of creation. But in your world and in your incarnation, it is your I Am Presence that is this source that you can most easily and rapidly tap into in order to be able to radiate all of the love that you wish to give to the world. Most of you celebrate New Year's on January 1st and it has become a tradition to make promises of that which you wish to realize in the new year. These New Year's resolutions, as they are called, often disintegrate into the ethers because not enough energy and conviction is given to them becoming realities. In terms of the Earth's energies, the true New Year is the solstice. That is the time when the Earth herself begins to experience more light, her path changes in her orbit in space, and all around the Earth there is a great renewal of energies taking place. 
And so I would suggest to you, for this new year of 2014, that you take advantage of the solstice energies to decide how you wish this year to unfold. What creative activities you wish to bring forth. In very clear terms, it is the most propitious time for you to choose that which you wish to be and to do in this new year. So I ask that you first look inside of yourselves and from your hearts Decide that which you wish to be and to do. You might want to write them down on a piece of paper or tape them or in some fashion record these intentions and then look at them every day and decide that every day you will put forth some energy to the specific realization of those intentions. If you do this, you may find that you may actually realize and fulfill your New Year's resolutions in this year. But I tell you that if you let many days go by without adding any energy to the intent, without taking any action upon the intent, that the small energy with which the intent was invested will quickly dissipate and it will be no more. Just another New Year's resol resolution that was not manifested or fulfilled. By doing it at this time, at the time of the solstice, you will add all of the energies of the earth to your intentions. It will help you to realize them more easily and more quickly and you will have the assistance of all of the beings that are helping with Earth's transition as they are particularly attentive and present during the solstice times. So take advantage of this, beloveds. Make this make the realization of this year's resolutions the easiest it has ever been for you by putting forth a small amount of energy each and every day and not expecting to accomplish it all in activities that occur once a week or once a month you will find it much more difficult, beloveds, to do it that way. That is the core of my message for this solstice. To assist you in your enlightenment, in achieving balance and harmony in your being and in your world, and becoming the love and the light that you truly are. Let this year be the year where you live your best life. Most of you who are listening to these videos know what you are supposed to be doing to achieve that which you wish to attain. 
but much of your energies are still scattered, going off in many directions, and not as one-pointed as you could be. By deciding to live your best life, you are deciding that in each moment you are going to do the best that you can do. Not whatever it takes to get by, not the least that you can do, but truly and sincerely the most that you can do in every detail of your life. Whether you're cleaning your house, driving your car, going shopping, at work, or simply having fun, be fully present. Do the best that you can do in each and every activity. And you will very soon find yourself gaining such a great momentum in your being that you will find yourself soaring into the light. This is what I wish for you, beloveds. I wish you all a happy and blessed solstice. I am Metatron.